back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant and uh, this TikTok is going viral and it has a strong language warning, but I want to respond to it because it is important that I do. So I do not know this person. Apparently she was a paparazzi consultant too and we are going to watch and I am going to react to this. So here we go. I'm so. I don't even know. I fucking decided to check on my federal tax refund. You know what that just says? That my entire refund is going to a past tax obligation. And I'm like, what? I file my taxes every year. I always get a refund. How do I owe when it's. Okay. So apparently she's done her taxes this year and she has a tax debt and she owes money on that tax debt. All right. Um, I've made videos about this in the past. If you are a paparazzi consultant, um, you are essentially a 1099 employee. You're responsible for your taxes. You are responsible to keep track of your inventory, the purchases you make versus what you earn off said inventory. Now, paparazzi, when they send you your uh, shipment, inside that shipment is an inventory slip that tells you how much you paid and what you bought. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about other paparazzi consultants, but you should be keeping said invoices that come in every single box. Paparazzi also emails you a confirmation when you place said order, okay? This is where a Schedule C comes into play. This is why I say you should have a, a, an Excel spreadsheet that shows what you ordered and how much you spent. Um, that's how I know I spent $84,000 and some change on paparazzi jewelry and accessories. I was able to make my money back with like a thousand dollars to spare. But then uh, I had my expenses. I had my website, I had shipping supplies, I had a bunch of other things that I spent to make customers happy like with contests and so on and so forth. So by the time it came to paying taxes, uh, I did write off a lot of things as business expenses. I don't know if this young lady did that. I don't know if anyone ever taught her how to do that. But it sounds like no one bothered to tell her this. And she was not uh, educated on the fact. Okay, so let's keep listening. And it's, it's not from this year. I don't owe anything. So... I go look through my refund transcripts and my account transcripts. I found it from my 2020 taxes. I owe over $11,000. Why? Because of paparazzi fucking accessories. They would not give me my receipts from all the times I ordered inventory because I had terminated my account. All right, so this is something I want to share with this uh, lady. So I'm going to type in policy. So I'm going to pause for a second so I can find them. All right, here it is. All right, request for records. A consultant's request for physical copies of invoices, applications, downline reports, or other records will require review and approval by the compliance department and will be subject to $1 charge per page as well as any applicable shipping charges. All right. 
So she would be able to have access to all of her invoices from 2020. She would just have to reach out to paparazzi and ask for those records. And then she would have to pay a dollar per page. Did anyone tell her that? I don't know, but I'm putting this out here. You can request it. And of course it has to be reviewed and approved by the compliance department and will be subject to a dollar charge per page. Now, this is something I've, I'm just gonna throw out there to this young lady. Have you filed a complaint with the FTC? Have you filed a complaint with your state's attorney general? If not, do that. There's a link in the description box down below. By all means, if you get wind of this video, please go click on said link and file your report. File your complaint with your state attorney general because this should not be happening to you. All right, so let's go back. And I had told the IRS that and I had, I never heard back. So I figured they found it in my square because that's, that's how they knew I made so much money was from my square account. Never heard back. Well, no, no, I just didn't hear back. I saw all of them. They think all the money that I made, I pocketed. So the other thing is, is with your square account, did you upload all of your inventory to your square account? Because if you uploaded all of your inventory to Square, if you had a website through Square, you would have access to those invoice reports as well. And that would help you in this fight. When I didn't, I don't remember now offhand, I might be able to find it somewhere, but I ordered over $20,000 in paparazzi jewelry. I didn't pocket the whole, I think it was like 47,000. I didn't pocket that, like, bitch, are you kidding me? None of us did. Unless you have a team, unless you were making money off of uh, commissions from downline purchases and bonuses, most of us did not pocket that money. In fact, even most elites, when they quit, say that they put most of their money back into the business through inventory loading. And now I can't prove it. I don't know how I'm gonna prove it now. It's three years later. When I told, when I asked paparazzi, like I needed the receipts, and they were like, we can't do that, but don't worry, you get an email every time you order. And I'm like, this was last year that I, I notified them. And I was like, do you think I have emails from two years ago? Gmail doesn't even let you have emails from that long ago. Okay, so um, I personally know that uh, if you keep your emails in a separate folder, which I've done, you have access to all those receipts, all of them, if you kept them. But if you deleted the email with said receipt, I believe you can reach out to Google through Gmail and ask them to pull all deleted emails from the last 10 years and ask them to put them back into your account. So that is an option as well. Um, it does require work and a lot of tireless phone calls, emails, requests, but it is possible. If you wanted access to those emails from Gmail, you could obtain them. Uh, you would just need to ask Google, okay? Oh, so, and I, I don't have the receipts and they will refuse to provide them to me. They won't refuse if you're willing to pay for them. It says so in their policy and procedure. And if they refuse to give you said receipts, uh, again, this needs to go to your state attorney general and the FTC needs to be notified. So please use the resources you have. Contact your state attorney general. Contact the FTC. Let them know what's going on. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. That experiment 901. That's a tough one. Did you solve it? No. I don't know if I can get into my Square account and maybe print out every time I ordered from Paparazzi Accessories. You should do that. Oh my God, this cannot be happening. So not only am I not getting any refunds, I owe over $11,000. And they just tacked on another $2,000 in October 
because of a late penalty. I'm so fucking fucked. It's not even funny. Fuck you, paparazzi. I feel this person's pain so much, you guys. Because this is not new. This is not a new story. This happens more than I even want to admit. But... Paparazzi says that you can request your records and you're subject to a dollar charge per page. However, um, they're, really, they're really bad about getting you that information. Why, paparazzi, are you so poor at getting people the records they need? You know, they love to dunk on corporate America and working for corporate America. But the thing is, is if she was working for an actual company that cared about its employees just a smidge, not a lot, just a smidge, when she got paid every week, her taxes would be withheld if she was not a 1099 employee. She would have her taxes withheld and sent to the government without her having to worry about it. I'm with her on this. So I really do hope, I don't know who this person is, I really do hope that she files a complaint with her FTC, her state attorney general, her consumer protection division, and anyone else that I've mentioned that you should contact in cases like this. And if you are a new paparazzi consultant, you need to learn from this lesson here. Save every single receipt that you spend on your business for inventory, shipping supplies, a website, uh, prizes for blingo, uh, extra bags for open jewelry to be sent out, for um, just literally everything. Your ring light, your camera, your cell phone service, your internet service, your printer, the paper, everything. That is why the IRS has a Schedule C. IRS Schedule C. It is a free form that you can pull from the IRS, okay? And the best part is, is Schedule C forms. You can pull it up. You just type in Schedule C, all right? 2023 Schedule C form. Here it is. This is the Schedule C. This is how you keep track of your advertising, your car, your commission, your labor, your depletion, your depreciation, employee benefits, insurance, interest, mortgage, other, legal service, travel and expenses, taxes and licenses, repairs and maintenance, everything. You should be keeping track of everything that is on said Schedule C. Purchases of Purchases less cost of items withdrawn for personal use. Inventory at the beginning of the year. You need to attach the explanation. This is why keeping track of everything you buy and everything you sell. Even if you buy from a going out of business group inventory from somebody else, you need to account for that. Okay? And then you have to put inventory at the end of the year. Now I guarantee you every active paparazzi consultant has inventory right now. So, if you are new to paparazzi, you need to download the Schedule C profit or loss from business and keep track of all of those expenses going forward, especially if you just signed up with the party permit pass or the verified influencer pass. You need to be aware that if you are going to play business and start your own business through a multi-level marketing company. It doesn't just have to be paparazzi. It's any multi-level marketing company. You should be keeping track of everything that is required on this form. Okay? I wish this young lady the best of luck. I believe she does need to contact her FTC. I believe she does need to contact her state attorney general. I believe she does need to contact her consumer protection division. And I believe that paparazzi jewelry and accessories should be sending her her invoices. And the, in my humble opinion, bullshit of having to pay a dollar per page when all paparazzi has to do is go into her former account 
and email all said documents to her. She doesn't need to receive them by hard copy. Just receive an email of all of her invoices. She can pay to print them herself on her own printer, which I'm sure she has. But paparazzi, I'm just going to throw this out here again. Shame on you. And to the TikToker who made that video, I wish you the best of luck. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. This was a short and sweet. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe, all the good things that come along with it. And I want to give my members a special shout out. Thank you so much for being members of this channel. Your financial support is appreciated. But most of all, if you have the time to donate blood, it is in short supply, especially O positive and O negative. So if you are either O positive or O negative, please get out there and donate blood every chance you get. You are a universal donor or a donor for people who can't receive other types of blood. And by all means, have a great rest of your day.